I think I first talked to them last year in the fall about the possibility of doing a program, and I wanted to do something that was ag-related, but also more than just ag, but <clears throat> would bring agriculture into the kitchen, you know, to the fork. Let's talk about how important agriculture is, not just economically, but how important it is that we raise our vegetables and fruits and that we consume them, that we, we have get team. more vegetables and fruits into our body. I mentioned things about exercise, if there's something good going on like a 5K run or if there's a bicycle event that's coming up, I talk about that. And I like to talk about um, what's going on in agriculture, some of the big events that are happening in agriculture. We also talk about the local farmers markets, how we need to support the, the producers. The neighborhood people come to the gar to the center. And, and I've interviewed and some of the producers, the people garden, from College Station, from some of the professors. We've spoken to some of the people that are with organizations like the Grass-Fed Beef Association. We've talked about organic standards, how they apply to uh, the farmer's markets. Um, and of course, I use this venue as a great place to advertise some of the educational programs that we have in extension. These were probably communities that don't have too many grocery stores. I'm getting the very same kind of phone calls that I get at the office <laughs> during the week, but now people are at home on weekends, they're working in the yard, and they're like, oh, I want to ask her about this or that, you know. So they call. I get questions about chemicals, um, pesticides, what can I use against this and that. Um, I try to discourage using a lot of chemicals because they end up washing down the street and getting into the water. Uh, a lot of homeowners especially tend to assume that if two tablespoons per gallon is good, ten tablespoons is better, you know. So I, I really uh, am very careful about the chemical suggestions, but people send me pictures of what's going on in the garden. They, they ask questions about their trees, uh, questions about plants. 